borderline personality is difficult to live with, as are many other mental health issues, as are things like dementia. Mm -hmm. We use that as an example. If a person is living with dementia, we train the family in very specific ways. Make sure things always go back to the same place, like the keys are always in X place, that the cup is in a certain place, because that mental map can help the person with dementia feel more effective in their environment. We use lots of reminders, okay? And we also ensure that the person is safe, all those different things, okay? Dementia is a more extreme example. We also know that the person's memory is now shot because they have dementia. So if I was working with someone with dementia and they say, they'd say, I, I don't remember your name, doctor. I, I, I just, I know you're a doctor. I wouldn't be like, what do you mean you don't remember you wouldn't be my offended name, right? Me. I wouldn't be offended. Why can't we ex use that similar framework for somebody who's living with something like borderline personality? You really, you really just nailed that. You really just nailed that. That is so true and makes things so much yeah. clearer. We have to be, I would have to be patient working with someone with dementia. I'd have to say, oh my God, they forgot where the thing is again. I wouldn't say that. That's no. cruel. And, and neither exactly, would the family, really. Yeah, but, but in a case of somebody with borderline personality, say, how hard is it to catch your tone? You know, that's mindfulness. And that's what human relationships require. Now, you're absolutely right though, Kyle. Just like even in the case of somebody with dementia, it is very hard to say, we have to tell them where it is again. We have to remind her again. No, but the, but I, I think people are, are, are willing to do that they for are, their family but it, but member it is, with them. But it does wear them out. Yeah, I'm, of course. I'm calling, and no matter what, and we all wear each other out, <laughs> but it does wear them out. Yeah. And that's where the family has to then be aware it's okay to take care of you. In fact, it's important. That's why, for example, the best borderline personality treatment programs in the country involve the family. Mm. You know, the family's brought in, they do what we call psychoeducation. They teach them. Mm -hmm. They teach them things, how important tone is, how important consistency is, how frightening abandonment is in any, sh in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. Listen, Kyle, love is at its core about compromise. You love someone enough, it doesn't feel like a sacrifice. It just feels like love. Wow. You know, Dr. Yip and I did a series on obsessive compulsive mm -hmm. disorder. Mm -hmm. And in that series, she discussed people's OCD symptoms and kind of labeled them as the OCD monster. Mm -hmm. And it's a silly term, but it, it, for me, it really helped separate the OCD mm -hmm. behaviors mm -hmm. from the individual yeah. Yeah. and not looking them as this yes. mesh thing. Yes. And I feel like if I had a spouse who had mm -hmm. BPD or someone in my family did, I would need to look at it that way mm -hmm. in order to do a good job supporting mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So if they're lashing out at me, I can say, this is the BPD right. monster right. or whatever. Right. Yes. Uh, I don't want to stigmatize mm -hmm. it, but this, these, this is the BPD talking. Mm -hmm. This isn't Carol. Right. And Carol's right. great. Right. But this yeah. BPD mm -hmm. sometimes is, mm -hmm. is tough for me to handle. And for people living with borderline personality, they'll say it too. They'll Even as they're going through the abandonment crisis, they'll say, ah, oh, here I go again. But it feels but real it feels to real. them. Right. It feels so real to them. They're not doing it to be difficult, yeah. they're hurting. Yeah. They're really, really hurting. That said, the spouse in that situation, the exquisite patience can wear out. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's finding that delicate balance. And for the spouse also to have their own source of therapy and support is sometimes absolutely essential. And it doesn't have to be a pylon and a criticism ses session about their partner, but rather a place where they can find tools on how to communicate better. There are gonna be certain moments that are more upsetting. And keep in mind, borderline personality is often comorbid with a whole host That's of right. other mental illnesses, including depression, anxiety disorders, eating disorders, substance use disorders. So you may actually be dealing with you know multiple sets of crises at that time. So it's not as simple as somebody's being volatile in a relationship or sensitive in a relationship. There may be another even larger issue that's looming. So again, the education becomes important. I'll tell you why. So that the partner who may not have BPD doesn't blame themselves. Mm -hmm.